From kids that were forced to run drugs for Mexican cartels to children that were kidnapped and forced to work as chimney sweepers, we take a look at 15 of the most dangerous jobs for children. Number 15. Child Miners Tanzania is one of the greatest producers of gold in all of Africa. For all you know, your wedding ring may have originated from one of the mines there. Yet underneath all that sparkle, likely, is the blood, sweat, and tears of a child. Kids who work in the artisan mines of Tanzania are to a great extent the sole providers in their family. They regularly work shifts surpassing 24 hours, brave injury, and risk their lives to get food for their families. Mining has also led to poor attendance in schools and prolonged health care issues for the children from mercury poisoning and dust inhalation. Number 14. Bangle Makers Indian glass bangles are famous amongst tourists and local people alike. Behind the glitter lies oppression. Vast shares of these bangles are produced by little shops that are classified under an organized sector by the Indian government, meaning there is no concern whatsoever for labor laws. Workers are disregarded to the degree that the greater part of them lack basic amenities and numerous manufacturers employ kids to diminish their overhead. Destitution forces families to send their children to inadequately vented, dingy factories for work. Once inside, they toil adjacent adults making trinkets so they can help their families. Number 13. Crossing Sweepers The Victorian era simply wasn't a decent time to be a child. Besides slaving away in the coal mines, kids regularly grabbed a couple of extra pennies by working as crossing sweepers. Their occupation involved tidying up pedestrian crossings and different walkways for rich individuals with high hopes of getting a tip. Easy money? Far from it. Aside from the usual fighting for good spots, children had the inglorious task of cleaning up horse droppings, a major problem that plagued the world's major cities at the time. Aside from all the defecation and urination, horse carcasses also became usual sight on the streets. All of these provided good vectors for a whole range of diseases to which frontline workers were vulnerable. Number 12. Spies. It's a verifiable truth that all through history, kids have been utilized as soldiers as part of armed conflicts. Even today, we have an immense number of child soldiers everywhere throughout the world. Yet, in the dark shadows of history, children have also served as spies. Amid the Revolutionary War, George Washington had a huge system made out of women and kids who surveyed and sabotaged the enemy. At the time of the Civil War, one of the best-known spies happened to be working for the Confederates, the 17-year-old bellboy. Number 11. Chimney Sweeps Though chimney sweeps have been in existence since as early as the 12th century, the profession achieved notoriety in 17th and 18th century Britain, with most of the attention on the young boys and girls who did the sweeping. Owing to their small size, children were perfect for climbing inside the flues. Adult chimney sweeps acquired their little apprentices either by buying them from their parents or the orphanages, or just outright kidnapping them. Number 10. Bullfighters To aficionados, bullfighting is an art. To everyone else, it's a cold-blooded game which is simply a dance of death. Bullfighters take massive risks to duel with bulls in an arena. They do get compensated handsomely for their courage. It is estimated that a figura, or a superstar bullfighter, makes as much as 335,000 pounds in a single appearance. In an undeveloped nation like Mexico, where each penny matters, starry-eyed children are volunteering to join bullfighting institutes to seek what is viewed as one of the most risky professions on the planet. Number 9. Blower's Dogs Just like their counterparts over at the textile mills and matchstick factories, Children involved in glassmaking faced serious injuries and potential death every day. Derisively called dog boys or blower's dogs because they were trained to follow the adult glassblower's whistle. The children handled and cleaned every piece of molten glass that the glassblower took from the furnace, a process that was repeated hundreds of times in a single shift. Number 8. Drug Runners Cheap, disposable, and less than 18 years old. These are the capabilities that can give you a not-so-appealing position as a drug mule or lookout in a Mexican cartel. U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement have seen an increased number of teenagers being utilized to ship drugs, for example, methamphetamine over the border. A greater part of these children are dependent upon the drugs they sell. El Maison Rehab Center is one of the biggest recovery centers in Mexico. Situated in Tijuana, El Maison treats a huge number of young people dependent on methamphetamine.
Number 7. Pin Setters In the days prior to the automated pin setter turned into a pillar in bowling alleys, the occupation of returning the pins to the right place was by adolescent young men. On paper, being a pin setter looked boring and sufficiently safe. Be that as it may, it was an entirely different story out on the lanes. For one, pin setters had to be on constant alarm for pins flying their direction. They additionally faced the risk of a bowling ball being heaved right in their faces by inattentive bowlers. Number 6. Powder Monkeys The part of a powder monkey was one of the most underrated occupations on a warship. Without them, it's impossible to have a battle. As the name proposed, powder monkeys were typically youthful, adolescent young men, responsible for bringing explosive gunpowder from the ship's storage spaces to wherever it was required. Powder monkeys had to be especially quick bringing the gunpowder. A slight delay could spell defeat for their side. Number 5. Tobacco Fields In the event that you believe the issues of child labor were constrained to third world nations, think again. As indicated by a report from Human Rights Watch, a great number of kids who work in the tobacco fields of Virginia, Kentucky, Tennessee, and North Carolina regularly report nausea, dizziness, and headaches. U.S. laws obviously restrict the sale of tobacco to kids, but it doesn't keep them from working on farms exposed to the harmful effects of tobacco. Number 4. Firework Makers Sivakasi, located in the South Indian state of Tamil Nadu, is home to the world's second-largest fireworks industry, with over 800 functioning factories. The fireworks come from the sweat and labor of children that work in this region. Child labor has always been synonymous with the fireworks industry in Sivakasi, and it is a menace that just doesn't go away despite stringent regulations. Today, a majority of these children work for home-based manufacturers that do not follow any form of safety or health regulations. Number 3. Newsies Opposed to mainstream thinking, newspaper boys did not have the song-and-dance way of life that media frequently depicts. Amid the 1890s and subsequent years paving the way to the Spanish-American War, the rising daily paper industry exponentially expanded the number of newsies out in the city. Along the way, newsies had to contend with several dangers in hawking their goods, one of which was fighting off other newsies for good spots on the streets. A few boys also became well acquainted with the criminal underworld and served as informers and go-betweens. Number 2. Matchstick Dippers Known as phosphorus necrosis of the jaw, this illness could rip off somebody's jaw, prompting an enormous infection and a slow, agonizing death. Prolonged contact with harmful white phosphorus was the main cause of fossy jaw, and that is precisely what child workers experienced amid the Industrial Revolution. These workers, for the most part young ladies, worked by dipping the matchsticks into white phosphorus. The pay was poor, and working conditions were even more terrible. Beatings were a common occurrence. Not only that, white phosphorus clung to everything, and the girls usually had to eat their lunches inside their work areas, which were covered in the substance. Number 1. Child Armies Battle is thought to be a definitive competition. It draws out the best and the worst in individuals. War brings individuals closer, creates bonds and kinships that endure forever. Yet war additionally brings abuse, destruction, and leaves scars that last for years. Today, there are more than 200,000 child soldiers battling in different places, including numerous Central African nations, Myanmar, Afghanistan, Bahrain, and the Middle East. These youngsters face the risk of death, as well as experiences that change them forever.